Hello, my peeps. This Algebra Nation video will cover the left side of page 112. Multiplying a trinomial by a binomial is similar to FOIL, but really we can't use the word FOIL here because we have two terms times three terms. Multiply everything in the first set of parentheses by everything in the second set and then combine like terms, meaning use the arrows. X times all three of these terms, and then 8 times all three of these terms to really help you match everything up. So here we go. I have x times negative x squared would be a negative x cubed. x times negative 5x would be negative 5. x times x is x squared. And then x times 4 is plus 4x. So I multiplied x times each term in the other set of parentheses and now I'll do it again for 8. 8 times negative x squared would be negative 8x squared. 8 times negative 5x. 8 times a negative 5 would be negative 40x. And 8 times 4 is going to be 32. Now I need to combine like terms and go from highest power to lowest power. The highest power I see is negative x cubed. Cross it off when you're done. Next up, I see 5 negative 5x squared minus 8x squared. So negative 5 minus 8 more will be negative 13x squared. 4x minus 40x. Hey, if you need to, you'll get negative 36x plus 32. So after you go ahead and multiply, you have to combine like terms. Let's do it again. In this case, I multiply x cubed times each, then I multiply negative 2x times each, and then I multiply 3 times each term in the other set of parentheses. x cubed times x would be x to the fourth. x cubed times 7 would be 7x cubed. Do it again. Negative 2 times x is negative 2x squared. Negative 2x times 7 is minus 14x. One more time. 3 times x is 3x. Three, 3 times 7 is 21. Whew. Highest power. x to the 4. Next one. 7x cubed. The next one. Negative 2x squared. The next one, negative 14x, hey, we can combine like terms finally. Negative 14x plus 3x is negative 11x plus 21. So I want you to try a similar one. Ready? Okay, if you saw all that, get ready to pause the video. Right. I thought he said to do this on the EOC. Never give up. When you get that tough problem, keep fighting through it because you'll get lots of points if you get it right. Never give up. Get that all down. And one more time, pause that. Here we go. If you need to, just make sure you point. If you don't want to do the arrows, you don't have to. Just make sure you point at each one. Start with 3g, then multiply times g, and then 7. Then g times g and 7. Then negative 2 times g and 7. But here we go. We have got negative 3g squared. We're going to multiply by g. That will give me negative 3g cubed. Then 7. Negative 3 times 7 is negative 21 g squared. Next up, move it over to the g. g times g would be g squared. g times 7 would be 7g. Move it over one more time. Negative 2 times g is minus 2g. And negative 2 times 7 is minus 14. If that helps. Highest power to lowest power and combine like terms and make sure you can see the minus 14. There you are. Hi. 
Highest term, negative 3g to the third power, negative 21g squared plus g squared, that'd be plus 1g squared, would be minus 20g squared. 7g minus 2g is 5g minus 14. So there we go. Got a lot of ways to multiply here, a lot of different combinations.